Alright, so to solve this puzzle, what you're trying to do is open up this box under the seat. And if you look at the matchbook that you got from the basement when a Mitch still in the there, you will see this symbol and it matches this. So, it says a matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. Okay, so if you will remember the schedule at Maxine's had a ripped corner and that matchbook that we found in the basement was what was in that ripped corner and the symbol is the first step so we know pressing that button is the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order, the letter and digit tell the direction. So if you will look up here and you look at your observations, ASU4. So you let's look for the element that has AS. Let's see. AS let's see it. Here it is. AS. So that's 33. So you're going to probably need paper for this. You're going to write down all of these. So HE is 2. So HE, you put, you write them all down and then put the number next to it. So HE is 2 and AS is 33. Then you put them in order depending on the number. So like, so like it would go 2, then 33 comes after 2. And then you fill in all of the blanks, like uh, AG, let's look for AG. So this is 47, so the order between H-E-A-S, H-E-A-S, and A-G would be H-E-A-S, A-G, because the numbers are 2, 33, and 47. You put them in numerical order. And then you figure out... They also have these next to it, D1. The D stands for down, and these have U4, that means up for. So what you're gonna do is once you have those in order, you will put the second part in order as well. So like if HE was the first one, you'd go up to first. Then if AS was the second one, you'd go up, to, up for next. And then if AG was next, you would go down one. So that's what you're going to want to do. I already figured it out here. So I'll just go ahead and press it. But um, you start with this one, and then up two means you just go one, two, and then click this one. And then up, like left four would be one, two, well, you can't go left four, but left three would be one, two, three, and then press this one. So the answer is this is the first one up two right one, left three, one, two, three, down two, right one, down one, up four, one, two, three, four, left two, down three, right four, down one, left three, up two, right three, up two, left one, down two, and left three. And that opens up and there's another video. So let's go back to Aunt Eloise's house and watch this video. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. 
But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude, Whoa. can you imagine? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc., etc., and some other stuff I don't understand. But I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my very own private island, retired at 17. Wow, so... Aunt Eloise? Detective is that you? Beach is the bad guy. <gasps> Detective Beach! I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seem kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No, you said my journal. You said that you found my journal. Whoa. Why don't we step into the living room and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? It's in the entrance, behind the tapestry. What's the combination? So whatever you do, don't click this one, because I think that's the right one. And he'll open it up and, like, kill you, so you want to do anything about Delta, that. Delta, Delta, Delta! Uh, uh, that's not it, Nancy. Moo Pi Phi Zeta! You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. <gasps> hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer you to another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach, and hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, Got him. case closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top-secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to win the next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon. Nancy. Case close. Oh, I don't remember. Is it zero, zero? No? Yes. I've always wanted to visit Japan. From the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns, I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. 
As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Crowmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best real cons, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the Ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Oh. Join me in my next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. <laughs>